Alright guys, I just wanted to come check this spot out. I've been here before in a video where I didn't do any talking earlier on in my YouTube career. We caught a fair few sword tails. There was a Lodia Nacris in this water as well. And I was interested to see if there's any there now. Because I've been back here a couple of times and there's been nothing. Oh man, there are so many fish right there. Oh my god, are they guppies? There's a lot of fish here. There was no fish here last time I came back up here to have a look. So let's get a trap in here. Let's see if we what we can get. Yeah, I'm super, super excited. Um, hopefully we don't see the Elodia Nacris in here again. I did pull some out and took it home because you're allowed to do that, but hopefully we don't see that in here again. That's a really invasive aquarium plant, aquarium weed. But yeah, we've also got some taro growing here, which is really nice to see a lot of Australian natives. And also see over there, we got some lilies. So this place is starting to recover. After the floods, I think the floods really destroyed a lot of the invasive stuff, but we still got some fish in here and we got to find out what they are, but I'm pretty sure they're going to be sword tails of guppies, so let's have a look. So I've got three traps here, which I'm going to throw in, and I'm just going to throw them in close to the shoreline. Get this one out a little bit deeper, maybe. Oh. Um, I'm going to throw this one over near this log here. I don't know if we can see that on the camera, but... Whoop. Lost the string, I'll just have to get in and get that one, but maybe I'll put one over near these lily pads over here that I pointed out earlier. If we can, there's a lot of fish right there. I don't even know if this will reach down. It's like really grassy here. All right, so to make this happen, I'm gonna tie this off around some of this reed here. All right, guys, I got the viewing container and I just spotted what I think is some guppies down here. So we are going in with the net. Yes, I finally brung a net. So we're going in with the net and we're going to see if we can scoop some up and see if they are guppies. All right, guys, this is pretty bad news. So it seems that the mosquito fish have populated this area and that's probably what we've seen a lot of here. And unfortunately we can't take these home to feed Chunky Boy because they are considered invasive, obnoxious pests. So we just have to dispose of them and get rid of them, which I'm going to do off camera. If you see these fish, they look like guppies. You're not allowed to touch these. You're not allowed to take them home. You're not allowed to use them for live feed, nothing. You just have to get rid of them. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to take them up on the bank, put them, find a bin up there, and I'm going to get rid of them properly. All right guys, after disposing of those fish, I'm still gonna have a net around, see if we can't find anything else. I'm gonna net these reeds here. I don't know if they're showing up on the camera. See if we can't catch anything like some ghost shrimp or something for these reeds. Chunky boy does like his ghost shrimp, guys. All right, look at this. We've got a little Mickey Mouse platy here. Baby one. Keep him and put him in the viewing container. We'll have a look at him. Oh, I just lost him in the grass. Damn. He was actually pretty cool. I haven't seen many Mickey Mouse platies in a while around this area or around Brisbane. So it's interesting that they're starting to repopulate again after the floods. All right, guys, we've got a little glass shrimp here. And I think we've got a little sword tail. All right, my tripod actually ran out of battery while I was filming that. We've got a little sword tail there. And I think we've got a little glass shrimp. If I can find him. There he is. So, got something for Chunky to eat if we don't get anything from the traps. At least we can still little, do a little video feeding him. All right. So basically all I'm doing is just getting this net and running it through the weeds and stuff. But I'm going to go up against this log and like try to run it underneath the log. I don't want to go too deep in this water. We do have a fish in here called a bull rat that lives in the fresh water in Australia. Which is um, poisonous. It sits on the bottom like a stonefish. So there's nothing in there. Oh man, why is there nothing sitting in these reeds? It's really strange. Usually it would be full of like ghost shrimp, I would think. Uh, I'm gonna get a scoop along here, maybe we'll get some ghosties out of here. Got some juvenile sword tails. We'll add them to the bucket. So we got some juvenile sword tails. We've got ghost shrimp. We're going to take these home, feed them to Chunky, but we're also going to check these traps. So. All right, guys, so I'm going to check these traps now. It's been roughly around 20, 25 minutes. Hopefully, we've got some sword tails in there because I bet Chunky's very hungry today. All right, we got something in here. 
Let's see what we got. Oh, we got a couple of rainbow fish. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. A couple of crimson spot rainbows, only small ones. Um, yeah, just a lot of tiny little sword tails, but he'll enjoy them. That'll be a good snack for him. We have to get them out of this waterway anyways. If anyone didn't know that, these are invasive. They're not supposed to be here, so they have to be removed. So going to be getting rid of them. Oh, we got a nice size one there too. So we got two size around the same males. But yeah, for anyone who doesn't know, this is how we remove fish from our waterways they have to be completely killed off you cannot throw these guys back it's 100% uh, illegal to do so i'm going to get all these guys out because we don't want to go to waste we want chunky to have a nice meal for the next couple of days so yeah all right we've got a couple of fire tail gudgeons in here so let's have a look Oh, how many did we get? One? Nice little fire tail though. Lots of colour in him, unlike the feeder ones you get from the pet store. And a couple of little baby sword tails. Actually surprised we didn't get any mosquito fish considering we netted some up. So yeah, that's pretty good. Alright guys, I'm going to film this next trap for TikTok. So if you want to go have a look at what we got in here, feeding video will be up on TikTok for that one. Alright guys, so we're back. We just caught the sword tails and we've gotten home now. So... This is my first time feeding Chunky Boy sword tails, and I have a feeling he's gonna really enjoy it. He's, he's really chunky at the moment, really thick. He had a nice feeding of, uh, what did I feed him? Uh, scampi, I fed him scampi. I've been feeding him a lot more on TikTok and stuff, trying to get him to the size he needs to be, and he's about 20, 20, getting close to 20 centimeters, I reckon, probably 15, 17, somewhere around there, but close to 20, very close to 20, I would say. Um, maybe we'll take him out and measure him, and. Uh, a couple of months maybe a month we'll measure him see where he's at but yeah so hope you guys enjoyed this because this is the whole purpose of chunky boy you know we bought him he's our native warrior and his job is to get rid of these fish um instead of letting them go to waste or like taking them and just killing them because that's what we're supposed to dispatching of them we're feeding them and we're not wasting the life we're, we're using it to you know harness the life of another fish you know make this guy's life a lot better he's eating wild fish and that's what he should be doing because he's a wild fish. He's an Australian native, and this is that's what he, you know. I wish they could be in the waterways eating these fish. So yeah, let's get into it, guys. I think I'm going to try feeding two of them. I'll try feeding one with my hands, and if he doesn't take it, I'll just drop it in. But yeah, I think two of them is probably all he'll eat around now because he's still a bit full by the looks of it from the scampi. But we'll see. All right, don't judge me, guys. I know there's like a lot of algae on that side of the glass, and there's a little bit here, but. I don't know, it's uh, been a really algae bloom in this tank. Probably because the light sits right on top of the tank. But there's not a lot of waste considering it's only one fish and he's not like, he's not huge. I expect more waste from a tank full of cichlids about the same size as him, but, you know. So... See if I can hang on to these guys and try and feed him out of my hand, but whoop, drop the sword tail on the ground. Here is sword tail number one, and as you can see, this is a male. I'm not sure what happened to his tail, but let's see if we can get him up here to eat out of my hand. Oh, oh, broke his tail off, and Chunky missed him. I wonder if sword tails regrow their swords. Oh my god, did he just hit him off camera? I'm sorry, I was grabbing the other sword tail. I wasn't really looking. Alright, let's see if he'll take a second one. If he did take that first one, I can't see it down his mouth. But we'll see if he can get this one this time. I'm gonna try to lift this glass up a bit and get it in a bit closer to him. See if he'll come up and get it. I've never fed him out of my hands before, so. Alright, he's not really interested in it. Let's see. Come on, yeah, he's looking, he wants it, up here. Come on, Chunky. Did, he must have eaten that other one, he must have eaten that other one because why would he not be interested in this one? See if we let him swim, free swim, see what Chunky does. Oh, damn. Why didn't you want to come up me down my hand? I've never fed him out of my hand before, so. 
he's probably just got to get used to that one but we'll get him there we'll get him there so anyways guys he smashed that eh? so that was awesome i think it might have been off camera unfortunately but i'll have to watch back and see if we got the other one on camera maybe we did maybe we didn't but yeah anyways guys thanks for watching this video i know it was a little bit shorter than what i normally do just chucked the traps out for a little bit but um yeah, just didn't want to make it too long with feeding Chunky Boy and all that. Just trying to keep it around the 10 minute mark because I feel like if you go over 10 minutes, it's just like, you know, a bit of a hindrance. And people don't really want to watch more than 10 minutes at a time, I don't think, of pretty much the same stuff. But if you guys want to see longer videos, just let me know. All right, guys. Peace out.